Okay, let's create a new scene. We'll call this double bounce. And frame rate 24, resolution 1920 by 1080. Okay, that looks good. Let's go ahead and do create scene. Okay, and <clears throat> on column one, I'm gonna have a background. It's just gonna be real simple. So I'm gonna call this BG for background. And it's a raster level, hit yes. And I'm gonna name this column, capital B, capital G for background. And we're gonna do this double bounce on 16s. So he's gonna take one step for every 16 frames, but he's gonna have either two ups or two downs within that step. So let's go down to, let's go down to 33. Okay, and before we lock that, let's go ahead and draw our background. So <clears throat> the idea is if you start with contact poses, okay, so a, a normal like 16 walk, you could do something like this. And this is per step. Okay, you have one and 17. And these will be your contact poses. And we're gonna end up animating this on ones because there's a lot going on. So half of this, and then half and half of that. So we're looking at one, five, nine, uh, 13, 17, okay? So one, three, five, seven, nine, 11, 13, 15, 17. So if, if you were gonna do this with the contacts on one and 17, five would be the down, and then nine would be the passing, and then 13 could be the up. This is the highest point, and then back to contact. Okay, let's move these down. Contact. So this is our starting point. So real quickly, if we, you know, like say say we have his hips here, and we have a, a contact foot here. This would be one, and then we could do five, would be something like this, like a down, and then nine. This would be nine. And this could be like a passing position, and then up. So it'd be 13. So maybe he's up on his toes like this. And his other leg is, is over here like this. This one is passing. Okay. And then back to contact, but on the other side. Okay, so this is the other foot back here contacting. So this is our, our starting point. Okay. And so on the idea on the double bounce is to have either two ups or two downs per step. So it's going to look like this. We're going to have one and this will still be the contact pose and we're going to have 17 which will still be the other foot contacting. But these will be our up positions. Okay. <clears throat> we're still going to have five nine and 13 and nine will be our passing position but it will also be an up and then our, our mid positions will be the downs Oops. down down so it will look something like this So up, down, up, down, back to up. 
Okay, so this is our plan for the animation, for the double bounce. And then we can have his arms be bopping along. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and start doing our key poses. I'm going to do 1 and 17 and 9. I want to get all the ups in and then and then we'll just go from there. Okay, now that I have the contacts and the ups, see 1, 9, 17, 25, back to 1. These are the ups and they're the contacts. And don't be afraid to go in if you if you don't like something, just rip it out and do it again. You know, like um, like this this arm right here. Okay, I'm not I'm not sure. It it just it feels too long, and so I'm just gonna uh, erase it and do something like that. Boom. And then I can draw a hand later. And the same back here. I don't have to draw like a perfect hand. I can I can just use simple shapes to get the point across. Just to get the animation. Because once I get the angle, then I can go in here. Add a little more detail. But don't let don't let that detail stop you from from animating. Okay, so let's go in and add. I'm gonna switch to my blue pencil, <clears throat> and now I'm gonna do the downs. So I'm gonna create a frame in between each one of these drawings, and this is where I will do five, and this will be a down. And this will be 13. This will also be a down. 1, 3, 5, 9, be 21. This will be a down on the other side. 25. This will be 29. And it will also be a down. And then we'll go back to 1. Okay, so let's, I'll add those in, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I spread this out on fours, so I'm holding each frame for four, uh, each drawing for four frames. One, two, three, four. Okay, and I've also auto renumbered my drawings so that they match my frame number and they dra they match what I've written over here, our, our initial plan, one, five, nine. Okay. It's just an easy way to stay clean and keep track of everything. Okay, I've made a little bit more progress and I decided to, on this drawing, the, my very first drawing, when, when the right foot contacts, I want to show more of his booty. So I'm going to try to get that booty popping. So when I start doing the breakdowns and in-betweens, I'm going to try to hold it and then boop, boop, pop that booty out. So it's like pop, pop. So now I'm going to go in here and do some uh, breakdowns at 3, 7, 15, 23, and 31. Okay, I've created all of my breakdowns with black. And I'm just going to do a little cleanup here. Kind of make these teeth a little sharper. Okay. I'm 
Okay, so now what I think I'm going to do is add the, the tail. So, I'm going to create a new column. And let's just call this T for tail. a good stopping point for the tail and let's just do a little bit more cleanup on the feet add a little shadow I think I want to just try to give it a little more snap so now I'm gonna play with the timing and I think I might try and on this down just this first down let's take out a frame and as he goes into this down let's take out that frame as well Boom. okay just make sure we're on the same everything's going as planned okay up and there's the contact for the left foot so let's take out this key or this frame and this frame so we'll put those on ones and let's readjust our end time and just see if that makes it feel any different. Boop, 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 boom. Yeah, it kind of breaks up the timing a bit, right? It's like... Let's go back. Hmm, so this does kind of read better. Let's just take out one. On every... As he starts to come down. So right foot contact, we took out a frame. Left foot contact, let's take out a frame. Yeah, I kind of like that. Kind of like that better. Okay, so I'm gonna retime all this. Let's go in and take this out, clean it up. Okay, let's retime the body. And let's retime tail. Okay, so now I'm going to go in here and get this all on ones. And it'll be exactly 30 frames all on ones, okay? So we're just going to wrap this up and take a look at it. Just do a little bit of cleanup right here. That's on the body. So I'm going to go over to the body and kind of do some cleanup. Clean up some of these lines. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and zoom out. And like I said, there's, I mean, there's a lot of different ways to do a double bounce walk. On this one, we started with uh, the contacts and then the passing was the down, but you could do like the down, po the down poses for each foot and then the passing is a down and then you can have up for the breakdowns going between the downs. So there's, there's a lot of different ways to build a double bounce. Okay.
So that's our double bounce walk. And I hope you enjoyed this video and got something out of it. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to message me or email me. And until next time, happy animating. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.